Hey guys, today we will see the continuation of the story entitled The Return of a God of Destruction Big Moo. This story will be about a God of Destruction that was brought to life, but he didn't belong to any of the current 12 universes, but to one of the 6 universes which had been destroyed by Xeno thousands of years ago. We will see how this God of Destruction will behave now, thousands of years after his death, and what his goal will be now that he has returned. Will he be a new ally for Goku or a new enemy for him and his friends? Well, just following along to find out. So grab a bucket of popcorn and your soda and come with me. And of course don't forget to leave your like, subscribe to the channel and comment what you think of this story. Well, without further ado, let's get started with this incredible story. In the seventh universe, it was possible to see Big Moo and Aminet on the same planet where they had met again. The God of Destruction Big Moo was still recovering because the way Big Moo was, he could be destroyed easily by any warrior and he didn't want something like that to happen. Big Moo spoke, Aminet, what happened to the 13th universe after my death? Were there other gods of destruction after me? Asked the god of destruction to his angel, who was jumping up and down pretending to be a rabbit, something that made the god of destruction slap himself because he couldn't believe what he was seeing. Aminet said, not really, after his death, Zeno made the decision to destroy the 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, and 18th universe. I don't remember very well why, but I think that it was because the gods of destruction of these universes were following their example of rebelling against the angels. Or well, that's what I heard, said the angel taking a carrot from inside the dimension of her staff and eating it. Big Moose spoke, and the angels of those universes, what happened to them? And what did you do after the 13th universe was destroyed? Asked the god of destruction to his angel who ate the carrot very happily. Aminet spoke, the angels of the eliminated universes ended up being sealed away until the right time came for them to be released and returned to their universes, but for that to happen, the universes would have to be restored. But I didn't really believe that, so I stayed here on this planet waiting for you to come back. After all, knowing you, I already knew that you would have a plan to come back to life if you were killed, said the angel as she finished eating the carrot. Big Moose spoke, good to know that you know me well enough to know that I wouldn't accept my death so easily. Well, do you know where those dragon balls are, which you said would bring my powers back? Said the god of destruction, asking his angel about the dragon balls. Aminet said, yes master, I already know the location of one of the spheres and apparently it is the one star sphere. As for the two star sphere I still don't know where it is, but if we get the one star sphere, I can do it track the two star sphere, said the angel while looking at the hologram of the one star sphere that was coming out of her staff. Big Moose said, so if we take the one star sphere, we'll be able to find out the location of the other sphere. Well, does the planet where the one star sphere is, does it have intelligent life? If so, are they strong? Asked the god of destruction to his angel, who started to locate where the sphere was and find out a little more about the planet where the sphere was. Aminet spoke, apparently the planet where the one star sphere is, has intelligent life and they are considerably strong. They are as strong as that race that you destroyed, because they made fun of your rags and your skin full of cracks, spoke to Anya while looking at her god of destruction, who soon began to think about the race he eliminated in his universe many years ago, just because they laughed at the cloths he had on his body. Big Moose said, they really deserve to die. I've never seen such a lack of respect for a god of destruction, but they weren't that weak, and in my current state, I should be able to defeat the people on the planet where we'll find the one star sphere and anything you can use your power to heal me, since unfortunately you can't use it to help me restore my powers. It's been so long since I've felt what it's like to be weak that it's driving me crazy. I'm in it, I'm ready, let's go to this planet and get this dragon ball said the god of destruction, already prepared to face the warriors of the planet where the sphere of one star was. Aminet said, if that's what you want master, then let's go get the first dragon ball, said Anya, swinging her staff and creating a portal. Then she and Big Moo went through the portal that led to the planet where the one star dragon sphere would be. On any planet, on a planet similar to the planet Mars and the planet Earth together, it was possible to see a portal being formed on top of a city. According to the angel it was in that city that the dragon sphere of one star was located, and from that portal came Big Moo and at his side was Aminet who had his staff in hand. Big Moo spoke, is this where the dragon ball is located, Aminet? Asked the god of destruction to his Anya. Aminet said, yes sir, in that city is the one star dragon sphere. Being more precise sir, the sphere is in that temple, but I must say that in that temple there are very strong warriors, so if you enter a battle, only the defeat or kill them using your Hakai. 
because you are too weak to prolong the fights, as you always did in the old days, said Anya to her god of destruction, who just nodded in agreement with her Anya. Big Mu and Aminid went to the place where the Dragon Ball was. The place was very similar to a temple, and after entering that place, they were received by a group of warriors. The leader spoke, Who are you and what do you want in our Temple of the Stars? Asked the man who seemed to be the leader of all those warriors. Big Mu said, We came after a sphere with a star. You know where it is, said the God of Destruction while looking at the leader of that group. Leader spoke, the sphere is under our protection, so get out of here soon, or face us and die, said the warrior while looking at the god of destruction. Big Mu said, okay, you don't have to worry, we'll be on our way. Come on Aminet, said the god of destruction leaving that place with his angel. Aminet said, if you are going to do what I think you are going to, I would say that the dragon sphere will not be destroyed by your Hakai, but try not to use it at full power. In addition, I have created a barrier around the sphere. However, the sphere is weak, which is making it difficult for me to know its location, said Anya to her god of destruction. Both were floating the temple where the dragon sphere was. Big Mu said, that's good to know, said the god of destruction, creating several spheres containing the energy of destruction, and then throwing the spheres against the temple, which was destroyed by the attacks. The warriors who were inside had died because of Big Mu's attack and because of, of the debris that had fallen on them. Big Mu said, well, I think everyone is already dead, and I didn't have to fight them like you asked me to. Now, you can go get the Dragon Sphere, so that later we can find out where the second sphere is, so that I can use it to recover my powers and become even stronger to be able to take revenge, said the God of Destruction as he watched for your angel. Aminette spoke, yes, sir, said Anya raising her hand and soon a small sphere with one star went to her hand, then Anya created a portal to the planet where they were previously, and then Big Mu and Aminet entered the portal. After returning to the planet where they were previously, Big Mu had gone to sleep to rest, and meanwhile, Aminet was analyzing the Dragon Ball, and after a few hours, Anya discovered where the second Dragon Ball was. Aminet spoke, Master, I have found the location of the second Dragon Ball. We can go after her right now, since you have recovered some of your strength. He spoke to Anya to his master who got up and went to Anya. Big Mu spoke, Great, let's get that sphere right away. I can't wait to have my power back, said the God of Destruction to his Anya, who created a portal in which Big Mu and Aminet entered. Planet Earth. Currently on planet Earth, it was possible to see a portal being formed on top of a large lake and from the portal Big Mu and Aminet came out. Aminet spoke, the sphere is at the bottom of this lake. Master, Anya spoke while she looked at the lake. Big Mu, after hearing that, entered the lake and started looking for the sphere. After a few minutes, Big Mu had managed to find the sphere, but when he left the lake, Big Mu found Lord Beerus who, when he saw him, hit a powerful punch to Big Mu's face, which went flying. But in the process, Big Mu ended up dropping the sphere, and before the sphere fell into the water again, Lord Beerus caught it. Big Mu thought, damn, the last sphere had to be on the planet where the god of destruction of that universe was. Thought the god of destruction, while regaining balance. Lord Beerus spoke, it seems that the great Big Mu, the god of destruction, who ended up earning the title of supreme god of destruction by becoming so strong, to the point of being a threat to the Daishinkan itself and the angels, is not so dead as I thought he was, said the god of destruction from the seventh universe while looking at Big Mu. Big Mu thought, in my current conditions, I can't face this guy, I need to get out of here and recover soon, before entering into a fight with someone who has the power of a god, thought the god of destruction looking at Lord Beerus, who now held the Dragon Ball. Aminet said, we would like to stay here to talk, but we have to go, said Anya. Appearing next to her god of destruction, Big Mu, Anya then created a portal and before Lord Beerus could do anything, Anya entered at the portal along with Big Mu. Lord Beerus said, it looks like they ran away, but Big Mu came to planet Earth because of this sphere, so as long as I have this sphere, Big Mu will have to come to me. From now on, this sphere will stay with me 24 hours, said the God of Destruction while looking at the sphere in his hands. With that we will end today's video. If you want to see the continuation of this incredible story, leave a lot of likes in the video and comment and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So until another day guys.